about an hour after my video went up yesterday where I was complaining about the state of this game, Wildcard Football, we finally got another update from the developers where they say that the patch for the trading card features being broken is on the way and for our patients, they've given us 1,500 tickets apiece. You can see here at the top right of the screen, we have 1,500 tickets in at least every single category right now. So you are able to buy at least one Legend player and a Legend wild card, uniform, and a logo. Or you could break it up into several epic cards or a bunch of different rare or even common cards if you wanted to do that. I don't know why you would do that though. Just looking through some of the Legend players here, Trayvon Diggs starts as a 69 overall corner. That could be massive. Jason Kelsey would be a really solid center. Obviously, we have the option of Patrick Mahomes, Christian McCaffrey. I think McCaffrey is going to be a really popular card to use, though. Don't know if I want to just roll with that the whole time. I'm having a lot of fun with Walter Payton, but I don't know if I want to use Legends the entire time in this game. You could also unlock someone like Jamar Chase, CJ Stroud, Micah Parsons. There are a lot of players you could get with these 1,500 tickets. I obviously have not used mine at all yet. I have no idea what player I want to get. There are a few that I'm leaning towards. A Christian McCaffrey would be a ton of fun, but I don't know if I want to stick with Dan Marino on this game forever, so I'm really considering like Jalen Hurts, or maybe we get some more help on defense for us. But now we can actually jump into today's episode where I have three packs to open, one daily crate, one epic crate, and one rare crate. So let's go ahead and do that. The first rare crate we are opening, do we get anything cool? It does not look like it. We get two rare cards, a few commons, we get the Glory Days helmet, we get the Scrap Armor Pants, and we get Mike Edwards a safety. Now for the Epic Pack, let's hope for something a little bit better this time. Maybe a Legend player. I don't think I've even pulled one of those yet. And we're not going to pull one here. We do get an Epic player, though. So we'll unlock that Rare card, and that's Padded and Belted Pants. Then we get Travis Etienne and the Rancher Jersey. I am never going to use that. That thing looks awful in this shot. And then we have a Thief Wild card, and then the player we get is Jonathan Hankins. And finally, we have our daily pack to open. So let's see if we get anything cool in this one. And we get nothing incredibly cool. We just get five rare cards. So we get Proud as Punch. And then we get a Turtle Speed card, which is actually really good. May need to go add that to the deck real fast. We get Scott Miller, a wide receiver. And Raheem Moser, a running back. And then the Light Sweatpants. One feature that I really wish was in the game was the ability to upgrade players, like level them up with tickets or something else. Having the only way to level up players be playing the games is a little bit tedious, especially with like quarterback. I tried to use a Justin Herbert card in tour mode, but I got so used to Dan Marino being able to actually hit passes, using a brand new quarterback was an awful experience. Well, that took incredibly long to find a game, but we get to take on the Homestead Haters, a 55 overall team, which means they'll probably put us into a fist fight. They will get the ball first, and I'm not going to risk anything. We're going to go ahead and kick this one out of bounds if we can. The kick is away. That's going to be real close. Never mind. That's a touchback. I did pretty much overhaul my entire offensive and defensive playbook, so you might see some plays here that you've never seen me run before. All right. He's going to use Thief on the next down, but let's see where he goes with it on this throw. It'll be underneath, and he's going to get about an eight or a nine yard gain. Actually, a seven yard gain because forward progress isn't a thing. All right. We're not going to use any wild cards on this one either. He is going to advance and get closer to the line here. So now second and one with a handoff to the outside, and that was a really nice hurdle and a really nice back juke. All right, we need to finally get this guy down. He's down to the 50 for a gain of 16 on the play, though. Well, we both activated a super speed card, but his is just for his quarterback here, and it's going to be a throw over the middle, and that's going nowhere. This guy seems to be running the ball and taking a lot of short passes right now. Maybe he's afraid to try to throw in a secondary, but we're going to get him in the backfield. That's a loss of four. And in case you ask yourself, if I added that glitch blitz wall, no, I did not. We're going to go and activate weak limbs on this play because I think on third and 11, he's going to try to get the ball deep downfield, but we'll see if he tries an underneath route again. It will be that screen to the outside, and can we make anyone miss? No, we can't. How did I not see the screen coming? The screen is such an obvious formation. I generally noticed it. I did not notice it that time. First and 10 from about the 40 yard line. He is going to activate turtle speed on our defense here. He has taken a while to drive down the field. This will be a run play, and he's going to make that man miss. And we're not going to fall for that hurdle, but he will get the first down. Once again, we're going to throw on super speed. He's added it to his quarterback, Justin Fields. And a quick throw over the middle will be tipped in the air, and that'll be intercepted. That one is just bad luck on his part. Let's see what we can get here on first down. We're going to run the play action. Now roll out to the outside, and we'll fire this one deep downfield, and that's a wide open CD Lamb. 
and I don't have to burn stamina yet inside the 30, 25, 20, and we're gonna need to burn some stamina here inside the 10, make that man miss, and dive into the end zone. Now that I've seen this guy run the ball, we are definitely not going to give him a kick return opportunity if we can avoid it. And that's another one that's going to go hopefully through the end zone and they will rule it a touchback. That guy killed us a little too much on the last drive with Brian Robinson for me to give him an open kick return here. On first and 10, it'll be a toss to the outside and that's going nowhere. He fumbled the ball and once again, I think that one's just going to be bad luck as Jair Alexander down the sideline will get into the end zone. Well, he's going to get a kick return opportunity on this one because the wind is at max speed facing us. So he'll get to return this one from about the 12, 13 yard line, somewhere around there. And we'll see if he can do anything this time. I imagine he's going to juke to the outside. It's exactly what he does. And we ultimately get him brought down. Well, we threw on an aimless card. He threw on a marksman card and they canceled out. So now on this play, we'll see where he tries to throw this one. It'll be underneath and incomplete. Now on the next play on second and 10, he's going to throw this one over the middle and I don't know what I was trying there, but now this guy's off to the races, but we do get him with Kenneth Murray. I thought he might have been gone there, honestly. All right, he activated Strongman, so I think he's going to try to run the ball here and that's exactly what he's going to do, but we read the gap wrong and he'll have another first down with Brian Robinson. We're going to go ahead and cloak our defense on this play because he's lined everyone up on the outside. I think this might be the halfback screen again, and it is, and he'll quickly throw it, but we'll quickly get him brought down. Three yards gained. Now on second and seven, he's activated turtle speed for our corner, so we may have to control the safety to try to make a play here, and the CPU is going to make a play on the running back. On third and three, once again, we both just nullified each other's card, so it's just a normal play now. And we'll see where he goes with it. He goes over the middle and that'll be caught, but he's close to the marker. Five yards gain. Will he go for it here on fourth down? It is fourth and three. I honestly thought he got a little bit closer than that. I apparently did not know the down and distance on the last play. He will go for it though. Not really much of a shock. We're going to go ahead and play some three, four quarters here. And we're also going to activate. Why not? Let's activate turtle speed. Let's make everyone on his team incredibly slow. He'll try to make our team incredible or his team incredibly fast, but ours nullifies it out. So now on fourth and three, he'll drop back and go over the middle and that'll be caught for the first down. Okay, never mind. They say that did not get the first down. I don't know how though. Once again, forward progress is not a thing anymore, apparently. First and 10 now. We'll take the snap and another quick throw out to CD Lamb who was wide open. And now Lamb down the sideline. Is anybody gonna be able to get him? Are we gonna score on a second straight offensive play? Inside the 30, the 20, the 15, and yeah, he is gone. So two offensive plays and three touchdowns because we scored once on defense. With 32 seconds left in the half, he'll take the snap, and I think he's going to try to go deep to the running back. He'll dump it off underneath, and we'll turn that into just a six-yard gain. We'll go ahead and throw turtle speed on for everybody here, so his receiver is still going to lose 30% of its speed. And never mind, he's going to try to run the ball. I kind of didn't expect that, but he won't get the first down anyway. He is going to activate Marksman on this play, so I think he's going to try pass, and it will be a play action. Goes downfield, he's got his man, and that was a nice juke. He may have a big play here, and we get him down just in time. He does burn his second timeout. With 12 seconds to go in the half, we are going to activate Turtle Speed. He has activated Marksman. Well, let's see if we can get him to like throw a deep ball, and maybe we come away with an interception or something. Never mind, he's going to play it safe and throw underneath, and we'll get him down pretty quickly. All right, he's just going to settle for a field goal here with six seconds to go in the half. We'll see if he can make this and avoid the shutout today. The snap, the hold, the kick is away, and this one will be good. We do get one kick return before halftime. This won't result in a touchback because the wind is really strong towards him. But let's see, it looks like John Johnson's going to get a chance to return this one from about the 15-yard line. Can we make anyone miss here? We'll hurdle to the outside, and no, we can't make anyone miss at all. The second half kickoff would go for a touchback, so we start at the 25-yard line, and we'll begin this half with a run play to Walter Payton on the outside, and try to hurl our way forward. We won't score on this play for the first time in this game. We don't score on a play on offense, but we do get a seven-yard run. Now on second and three, we lined up under center. We're going to run the ball again, and I once again guessed the wrong button for the run play, but we'll get the first down with Walter Payton anyway. He has activated an accuracy card on this play, but we activated a speed card. We will be throwing this ball. And we're going to throw this one underneath and it'll still be caught for the first down. We come back out with 20 seconds to go here in the third quarter. We'll take the snap and throw this one underneath. That one will be caught by CD Lamb and we'll hurdle out of bounds getting the first, but it does stop the clock. This might be the final play of the third quarter. We'll take the snap, roll out to the outside and we'll throw this one downfield. Caught by a wide open Walter Payton and he will get brought down at the five. That one will take us into the fourth quarter. 
Now a first angle. We will take the snap and give this one to Peyton. Hurdle over that man and get brought down at the one. Actually, it's a three yard gain. And I understand nothing about forward moment or a forward progress here because he threw his back behind the line, which in other situations has really just resulted in a loss. All right, we're throwing a decoy out on this play. I've activated super speed for our quarterback this time, but it will be another hand up to Walter Payton, and that's going to be a fumble, and he recovers it. That is horrible luck on our part this time, and he is amazing with making me miss people with that juke move, but now he'll take over. I have added bumpers to our deck here, so let's go ahead and use it for the first time in this series, I believe. We'll see if he actually tries to throw this ball downfield, and he has nobody open thanks to the bumpers, and that'll fall incomplete. Now he's going to give super speed to his receivers here, and I think he's going to look to go deep downfield. Never mind, he once again dumps it off underneath, makes me miss with that man, and then ends up with the first down, a gain of 19. Let's see, with 50 seconds to go in the game, it will be a handoff to Brian Robinson, and that's going nowhere. Let's go ahead and throw on some turtle speed for him. He's actually throwing some turtle speed on for our corners here, but everyone on his team will be slower as he looks to throw this one underneath again, and that one will be dropped. We'll go ahead and activate a modifier shield and completely kill that quarterback speed card he just tried to use. And on third and 12, he's going to try to go deep downfield, I think. And can we make a play on it? Never mind, he once again throws underneath. I don't know why he's not risking it downfield at all. Granted, I am using the players downfield. But, you know, down by 18, I feel like you should probably be throwing the ball a little farther downfield. Even though he's not throwing it deep, we are going to activate weak limbs just on the off chance he does throw it deep here on fourth and nine as he drops back to the pass and will throw to this wide open man, but completely miss him thanks to the weak limbs card. He has not thrown a weak limbs card on us, but it's not really going to matter because I'm going to drop back and just take a knee with Marino. And that will get us out of here with the win, 21 to three. I will give this guy credit. He was really good at juking. That juke stick was really, really good in his hands at least. Made a lot of people miss on my defense and definitely on that fumble return. Got way more yards than he actually should have because he juked some players out. But that is going to wrap up today's episode. Hopefully you guys enjoy those free tickets that they gave us. Use them wisely. I'm going to look through all of the players and see where I need help on my team the most or what player I think would be the most fun to use. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode and I'll talk to you next time.